the missile was likely a stray fired by Ukraine's air defenses. That's the latest analysis from the NATO alliance and Poland. This is not Ukraine's fault. Uh, Russia bears the responsibility for what happened in, uh, in, in Poland yesterday because this is a direct uh, result of the ongoing uh, war and the wave of uh, attacks uh, uh, from Russia uh, against uh, Ukraine uh, yesterday. That assessment appeared to dial back the likelihood that a strike on a NATO member will trigger any major escalation in the nearly nine-month-old conflict. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky disagreed with the finding today, saying he believes his military's conclusion that the fatal explosion was caused by a Russian missile. I don't even doubt that report that I have received, that Zeluzhny received from the Air Defense Command. I don't doubt that it wasn't our missile. I don't have a reason to doubt them. I, I'm going through this war with them. While there are no indications that the explosion was deliberate, a Polish farm worker is left devastated. He lost two of his colleagues yesterday and described the moment he found out about the strike. Mateusz saying in part, I went pale in the face. They told me those men are dead. That could have been me. That could have been me. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his UK counterpart speaking with Zelensky today by phone. Rishi and I really wanted to, to reach out to reassure you, uh, to show you we're standing with you, uh, and to say we're going we're gonna, to uh, figure out this uh, step by step all together. The call coming after global leaders gathered during the final day of the G20 summit in Bali for an emergency meeting. Trudeau discussed his conversation with Polish President Duda. I offered my condolences and offered support for the investigation that will get to the bottom of what happened. Since the beginning of Russia's invasion, the Polish government and the Polish people have stood strong and stepped up for Ukrainians. But before the G20 wrapped, there was an interaction that captured social media in Canada, unrelated to the war. Chinese President Xi Jinping accusing Trudeau of harming diplomatic relations by sharing information about their meeting yesterday with the media. If in there Canada, is sincerity we on your part, free and open and frank dialogue, and that is what we will continue to have. We will uh, continue to look to work constructively together, but there will be things we will disagree on, and we will have to continue. The short but revealing Xi Trudeau exchange highlighted tensions between China and Canada as she added that there could be consequences for Trudeau, but he did not say what those might be.